five. The last cake mist video of the year, a little bittersweet moment. I can't believe it's already Christmas Eve. Well, if you're watching this, the day that I upload, it is a day before Christmas Eve. Like what? I feel like December literally just flew by. Like it was December 1st yesterday and then today it's already Christmas. Like what? But I hope you guys have been enjoying my cake myth videos. Today is actually my family's secret Santa. So I thought it would be cool for me to do a cake to take over and also kind of incorporate the Santa, the whole secret Santa theme to it. I have one fact, I've never seen a cake like this. I had seen the Santa holding like a letter um, and then I just thought about a tree bark. And that's kind of what we're gonna do today. So to get it straight into the cake, let me go ahead and bring out all my contestants. Okay, so all my cake experts out there, please tell me if I'm crazy for doing something like this. I've never done it. I don't know if it's okay to do it, but I'm about to do it. I have here some Tres Leches cake. It is my family's favorite. If this pelito does not stay back. Anyways, Tres Leches is my family's favorite, so I really wanted to make it Tres Leches. Um, I am going to use fondant, so that's where I was like, I've never seen fondant on Tres Leches cakes, but maybe I've just never paid attention. I don't know. Comment down below if you are a baker yourself. But I have these right here. Also, a quick little story. I got these off Amazon and the Wallace se hicieron así. I don't know if it's because it was like cheap pans, like a cheap brand. I also washed them in the dishwasher, so I don't know if it's the dishwasher that did that. Can y'all let me know? Because these are new and they be looking a little busted. So I have my little board right here. Also my buttercream. So with the leches, I do feel like you kind of have to work a little bit faster just so they can be in the fridge and they don't leak on you all crazy or anything. Oh yeah. Mm, I want to just bite into it right now. Oh, she's so... Okay, adding my second layer on top. And I think that's actually a perfect size for a tree bark. Well, tall at least. Height. Okay, I'm gonna clean up any leaks that my Tres Leches cake has. And then I'm gonna get to frosting this completely and putting it in the fridge while we work on everything else. But now that I'm done frosting it, I brought you guys close in a little bit. I kind of want to do the lines on top of a tree bark. So I have a clean brush right here. I also added a little bit of food coloring right here. And I kind of just stroke around on the top to give it like that swirl that the tree trunks have. And now with a tiny bit of food coloring, I'm grabbing it with my brush and kind of like getting rid of it. I'm going to do the same thing to add a tiny bit of color to the top. The camera just washed me off. I promise you guys, next cake miss, I will have like a second view camera, a good second view camera for you guys. So you guys can see all the little details. That's something that will be coming in next cake miss. Because from this view, it's not really catching like what I'm doing right now. I will now insert a video via my phone to show you guys what it looks like so much better on the phone than on the camera but this is what we have now we're gonna pop this cake on the freezer on the fridge so while my cake is in the fridge i went ahead and did my tree bark so i have this so far i'm about to do the last piece with you guys so this is fondant it's actually in three pieces right here and there's actually another technique that I had seen which is making it out of chocolate but I decided to go with the fondant technique so I'm using this right here I got it off Amazon it is a fondant mold and then I have my brown fondant right here also I did measure my cake how tall it was before I put it in the fridge that way I knew how tall to make my tree bark so I basically roll this out and then once it's the height I wanted which is 4.5 inches I place it on my fondant molds. By the way, they have so, so, so many of these. Um, literally, you can make any design out of these molds. And then now I'm just adding a little bit of pressure on here. That way it gives me the pattern on the mold. Okay, so now I transferred it to my board. That way I can go ahead and cut it up, give it a nice straight edge at the bottom with my pizza cutter. And then also a nice straight edge on the sides, that way it can connect to the other pieces. Okay, we are not completely done with the bark, but I have this right here. I'm gonna bring out my cake now. Now I'm just going to add my tree bark to my cake and turn this into a tree trunk.
I'm also adding a little bit of water to my fondant so it can stick on my cake. There we go. Now to kind of balance off, balance everything out from the top, I'm gonna grab my little blade right here. I love this little blade, if you guys noticed, I used it through all my whole cake mix. Actually, I also got this off Amazon and it comes with like legit 30 of the little blades. So I change them out every time and it's always like super sharp. Okay, moving on to give my bark a little bit more detail. I have my brown food coloring right here, also this little brush. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit and basically just kind of give it little strokes. That way it gives it more like of an actual bark look to it. Okay, done with my tree bark. Moving on to a pine cone. I actually ordered these off Amazon. I think I over ordered a little too much, but I wanted to. This is a lot of pine cones. Okay, I accidentally ordered a whole box literally of pine cones. I just wanted to have like different size options. And I didn't notice that some of these bags come with like 50 pieces rather than just one. So these are just also used for like ornaments or just uh, arts and crafts. And I'm gonna place one of them, I think, right here. And then a tiny one right next to it. I also got a dish. Should we add this? Like a pine tree? Okay, very random. Moving that out the way. Uh, I'm gonna add the Santa and then we'll figure out if we want to add a little bit more. We're also gonna make it snow. So, to bring my Santa in, I went ahead and made our little Santa yesterday. This one also took me a little bit of time. I'll insert clips now of how I got this done. And now, oh! As I was saying, I'll insert clips now of how my little Santa was made. So basically, I just eyeballed everything. Uh, I just got some fondant, red, white, black, a little bit of yellow, and I just got to work. Uh, he took me about an hour and a half to get done. So yeah, I just basically started shaping him off. And I did realize his head was a little bit too big for his body. Um, he did have a little bit of a bobble head and vibe to him. Uh, I did measure his head, but after I added the beard plus the Santa hat, his head turned out a little bit. I don't think he looks really unproportionate, uh, but he does have a little bit of a big head. So here he is. I did not add the head last night just so it wouldn't be too much pressure on it. But now that it is pretty dried up, it should be fine. Also, for Santa's letter, uh, today is our secret Santa. So I feel like this cake went perfect for it. I went ahead and added all of our guest names to here. So literally all of the names are people in my family. At the end, the short was a little list and I wanted to just add random names. So I did add elf one, elf two, and then at the end, I put BYOB so you can go ahead and write literally anything on the list uh, just make sure the fondant is dry so you can write on it with edible marker and you can add like all of your kids names or your cousins names uh, grandkids all of that now to grab my Santa and he is nice and dry I want to put him right and I purposely wanted for like the for his letter to be like falling off the cake like dramatically long we also have some little acorns so I think we should add this brown one right here. Let me add the Santa head because I feel like 
it's supposed to be like a really you know like i don't want for it to be like too overwhelming also this right here i added there i added it here yesterday just in case he needed a little bit more like of a lift because i'm telling you guys his head turned out a little too big um if i don't need it i can just cut it out opposed to trying to put soft fondant so that's why that is there i think it's actually going to be a little helpful so i'm going to leave it and then i'm just going to add his big old head on top he looks like a bobblehead. Head. Like those bonitos that are like that, like in the car. I feel like it looks cute though. Like it looks like a little bit, um, how do you call it? Like a little cartoonized uh, Santa. That is it. Um, I think we should add one more pine cone, but here at the bottom. Okay, so I decided to go with a little pine cone right here. And then I'm actually going to replace this one with a big one. Just so we, it covers up a little bit more space up here. So good thing I have a lot of sizes. So I'm going to add a huge one right here. There we go. And then I'm still going to add the little one right here and this little acorn. Okay, we're about to make it snow. I quickly added this little mistletoe right here. My confectioned powdered sugar. And I don't want to overdo it with the snow. I feel like I get a little too excited and I tend to over sift. Okay, I'm not supposed to make it snow on the letters, so I'm just kind of sifting it off. If any letters washed off, you can just go ahead and rewrite it, which might seems fine. And that's all. My secret Santa cake is done. I love this cake, especially the whole little Santa letter right here. I do want to cut it with you guys and taste it myself. Um, I'm curious to see what this like is with buttercream and fondant taste is like. So I will be bringing you guys along for Secret Santa. If you guys want to come along and keep watching. And then we're going to cut this up. Um, I'll show you guys our outfits and everything. So yeah, I'm actually about to go get my nails done. I have not had long nails in a long, long time. So we will be eating and cutting this later. I'm going to pop it in the fridge for now. And I will see you guys later. Six and a half hours later. We're a little bit late. It started at 6 30. Yeah. An hour late. That's not that crazy. And let's see the food. <laughs> so we have some flautas, rice and beans. Some people already ate because we showed up a little late. <laughs> some beef. steak. It's kind of steak, right? Like for tacos yeah. and stuff. Tortillas, some mole, some salsas. What is that? More beans. Frijoles, hell yeah. Frijoles, of course. <laughs> and yeah, we're just finna buy. Babe, give me a beer. I need a beer after today's cake miss. Okay, we're gonna play music, guys. So I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit. Starting like the quinceañera. I actually got ready with you guys on Instagram, but this is outfit of the night, guys. This dress is backwards. Let's show them my makeup. So I did a little glitter eyeliner. I hadn't done like a full be like this in a minute, and then also the dress. So this is from Turn. Ah shit. Okay, ready. Shot. Shot. <laughs> I don't need one. Everybody over to me and I get it. Say hi, Gidget. Oh, she's so video. tiny. I feel like she looks bigger in video than in person. Like in person, you see her and she's so much tinier. Okay, cheers. 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 To cake miss. Ooh. Oh, that was smooth. All right, guys, so we're going to open up the presents. And the <laughs> first contest that I got was Leslie. So I hope you like it. And let's do this. I guess I'm making you sweat, boy. Pajamas? Oh, yeah, Let me sleep. Heard. More pajamas? I love that for my sleeping. <laughs> what is this? First. Okay. Tea. No, you put this one on the back of your phone. Yeah. And it gets stuck to your phone and it charges. Yeah. It's like oh, a magnetic, yeah. it's like a magnetic phone charger. Oh. He got diapers. The next day. Guys, it is the next day, clearly. The main point was for us to cut the cake yesterday and we just totally forgot, caught the vibes, and here we are in the next morning. <laughs> also, I think somebody kind of like stopped it. I think they closed the fridge door too hard. So it has like this dent right here, but it's been in the fridge, so it should be good because it's tres leches. So I'm gonna cut it with you guys. I wanna taste it. I wanna know what the tres leches with the fondant and the buttercream taste is like. What's the next? Oh, and Kisa was so excited for her piece yesterday, and then we all just forgot. She's like, I really want the Santa. Ooh, 
Ooh. Oh, that's a big piece. Ooh, that looks good. Taste test. Mm. 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 Swear. Swear. I want some. Want me the buttercream? I knew it would be good. Yummy. I am not a fan of fondant. Even when I do eat cakes made of fondant, I always like just take it off. Let me know if I'm not the only one. Like I just don't like fondant. Do you like fondant? No, I take it off too. Yeah. So fondant is just like for a cute look, but you still get the buttercream. Here's a little bit of fondant. But yeah, the cake is so good. I'm gonna close out the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed Cake Miss. I'll see you guys next year for Cake Miss. But yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.